Voice is a tad bit scratchy today, guys. But that's what happens, man. When you play with this build right here, the natural reaction is to get the flu. That's like Mother Nature, knowing that you are inherently bringing evil upon this world. And she is just like, bam! Get sick, fool! All right, we're getting really carried away with the narrative there. Let's talk about today's build. Yes, we're on the Hunter class. We are rocking something that I said I wanted to do about two, three weeks ago. And that is, of course, the exotic, the Bombarders. Combined with Top Tree Night Stalker on the Hunter class, merged with the new artifact mod for this season, Void Battery. And just to top it all off, boys, we're rocking double lightweight weapons and max mobility. So, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Armored Bomber. Huh? Was that pretty good? I thought that was pretty good. I wanted to go with Invisible Bomber because I'm, I'm going invisible, right? God dog it, should I have went Invisible Bomber? If I was gonna go Invisible Bomber, I needed to have Rat King. Damn it, I should have had Rat King here. Regardless, the process at hand is essentially the same. Whether you rock in an Invisible Bomber loadout or this Armored Bomber loadout, the result is you kill people in a very AP fashion that justifies the hatred toward Hunters. Now, by the way, I really have nothing against Hunters. It's not your fault that Bungie gave you the best mobility in the game. Lore-wise, that's exactly how it's supposed to be. It's not your fault that you have the best stop and go speeds, the agility of a gazelle, the appetite of a Pumbaa. Yeah, that's a Lion King reference. That's what happens when your kid makes you watch Lion King like 20 freaking times over Christmas. But on another note, this build right here allowed an amateur hunter to feel like a god. First up, the exotic perk found on Bombarders. By the way, the reviews for this thing is not hot. I hold 3.5 out of five stars. I actually like them. I think they're pretty good if you use them correctly, especially when you combine it with some of the things we have combined here. But it comes with the perk parting gift. Dodging leaves behind an explosive that detonates after a short delay, damaging enemies around it. A fantastic exotic. If you are dealing with aggressive opponents that are pushing on you over and over with a shotgun, maybe even with a melee combo, parting gift here on Bombarders is perfect for dealing with them. Now let's talk about our other things we have going on here. First up, Void Battery. You essentially gain an overshield when activating your class ability while rocking a Void class. Now, we had the same thing last season, but it was Arc Battery instead. This season, I would say, is even better. I like it even more, as I'm rocking this on Top Tree Night Stalker, which allows us to vanish when we dodge. So not only do we spring this bomb that does a pretty significant amount of damage to all enemies that are collapsing, but simultaneously, though, you go invisible. And for some people, this absolutely bamboozles them. I don't know what it is. Invisibility works better on PC. I, for real, have, like, terrible eyes. I actually got LASIK done. One eye is really good. The other eye, man, it just really dropped off. I don't know what happened. Fellas, don't get eye surgery at a doctor's office next to a coffee shop. Bad things happen. I'm just happy I'm not blind. But I will say this, whether it's PC or my blind eye, invisibility for some reason just merges so well with high frames per second. Every time I see someone go invisible, I just lose track of them. I'm like, ah, shit, just kill me now. But being able to spring a bomb in the middle of people attacking you, you know what's happening through their mind. They know in their hearts they see it they visualize themselves shooting you with a shotgun and maybe even following up with a melee and then all of a sudden out of nowhere this hunter disappears in a puff of roly-polies and upon his disappearance a bomb goes off in their face resulting in them being easy cleanup for your now invisible self oh and during this process yes you gain an overshield and that overshield is actually pretty nasty you could tank melees you could tank shotguns you can actually tank certain supers if you time it right void battery just like arc battery is very similar in the same amount of armor that it grants you again though it all comes down to the timing because that certain wind window almost makes you impervious to just about everything you just got to make sure you got your timing right now how do we dodge as much as we possibly can because that's the goal here we're an armored bomber now slash invisible bomber we're trying to get in people's faces we want to be dodging at all times lo and behold max mobility here is what's driving our class ability cooldown so so much this is a change that was made in season of dawn used to be paragon mods now they actually tied it to the associated class stat. So for hunters, it's mobility. For warlocks and their rifts, it's recovery. For titans, it's resilience and their barricade. I would say hunters, as well as warlocks, probably get the biggest benefit here. I don't think there's ever a time where I'm like, hey man, I really wish I had another barricade to just die behind. But a hunter with max mobility, that increase in jump, that twitchy movement, all the stuff you just hate to go against. Now they got an even faster cooldown on top of springing a bomb 
and every twist and turn. But just to top things off, I combined it with two weapons that are both lightweight frame weapons that are fantastic here. First up, we've got spare rations, of course, but then underneath it, we've got Emperor's Courtesy. Now, this is actually one of my favorite shotguns. It does not have the best and most consistent kill range, but this roll right here is actually pretty good for what I'm trying to do. I'm essentially trying to run up in there, proc things like slide shot that allows me to temporarily boost that range and stability. If I get the kill with the shotgun, great. If I don't, it's all right. Because normally, in most shotgun encounters, on the opposing side, especially in this sandbox, is another guy with another shotgun, most notably a mind benders. And even if I only get half damage into them, I simply just roll out of the way, fart a bomb out on the floor, and it cleans them up. And the only reason why we're using lightweight weapons is simply to just tack on more to that movement. Somebody's probably gonna correct me or something and say, hey, no, mobility is maxed out. Lightweight weapons don't help you after this point. I'm only basing it off my feel, okay? And I'm, I'm just saying, whenever I rock lightweight weapons, even with something like max mobility, I feel faster. And this is not not something just to spare rations or emperor's courtesy there are other lightweight weapons that can merge just fine here with this build most notably my favorite scout rifle right now currently is patron of lost causes we did a review on this a while back i actually got me a god roll right here a fantastic scout rifle you can utilize the same build which will allow you to still hang in those mid ranges while simultaneously allowing you to stay pretty aggressive with things like void battery bombarders as well as emperor's courtesy that would honestly be my other setup that i would go for so guys that is our build there for the hunters our armored bomber i've got some other exotics to review most notably the new titan exotic for this season as well as the new warlock exotic i have not individually reviewed those yet i more or less want to review them from a build perspective it's kind of difficult with those bombarders is a little easier if you're looking though for a setup that will allow you to deal with aggressive players this is one of the best ways to do it and even though it does have poor reviews at least on destiny item manager and it's actually got some pretty poor reviews on light dg as well a lot of the guys that i've seen talk about it will actually say in the review that they haven't tried it in something like pvp or vice versa overall bombarders is much better than what we give it credit for it's got a 7 to almost 10 meter radius on top of that radius it maxes out at 120 damage for simply dodging for an ability as evasive as dodging and i know a lot of people say oh no hunters and their ability it's so trash oh it's so trash can't tell you how many times i hear that i'll show you a trash class ability you know how many times my barricade has saved my life i could count them on my hand so hunters not only do you get the benefits of evasion but you also drop a bomb that will allow your enemies that are collapsing on you to be easy cleanup and if you combine this with a battle mod nine times out of ten you'll live like the only times i did not live was when i just went into an engagement and i was already one shot so even as i was dodging that shotgun shot or melee or something that i normally would have been able to tank i wasn't able to to me this is a much better combo than worm husk worm husk keeps you alive more yes but to me in this sandbox i don't know shotguns are starting to get a little more rampant lord of wolves etc it kind of changes from like week to week but in terms of dealing with aggressive players you can't go wrong with this guys i really wish i had something like this on the titan class i literally was rocking void battery on my titan class the other day popped my barricade and the guy with lord of wolves was standing next to me and he just waited for me to come out of my barricade animation to just gun me down but oh hey man twilight garrison would just make us too overpowered bungie give us back twilight do it do it do it now by the way if you have any build ideas feel free to comment it down below you can also come by our discord we have an entire chat room full of build ideas I actually get some of the best build ideas from there there's so much reviewing and testing stuff in this game that a lot of times experimentation has been kind of put on the back burner especially this season with all these new different things sandbox changes etc i very much feel like i'm always running behind but if you got a really nasty build idea feel free to come by our discord drop it in our build chat at me if you like i know a lot of the mods are like ah oh, don't add astrocross no nah, you can add me man fellas and ladies thank you all for coming and watching and as always slap that like button like your mama told you right Thank you.